What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So I am filming this way again because honestly, I was just running my Roomba and it tore through my filming studio. Literally, it's upside down right now. It ripped apart my lighting setups. It took everything off of my vanity. So I am not going to sit down, do my makeup, get all cute and redo my whole setup because it's an absolute mess. So if you are new, my name is Erin, welcome. You can like and subscribe down below. I also leave my Instagram handle in the corner for you guys. It is at Erin Heartbreak. That is where I style all of my outfits. I just show you a little bit more personal stuff in my life. So follow me on Instagram if you are interested. But today's video is going to be a floral kini swim try on haul. So they reached out to me a couple weeks ago. They sent me a couple bathing suits. Everything that I discussed today is gonna be my honest opinion. I <laughs> Recently, I have had a lot of brands reach out to me and they'll tell me that I have to buy the product at a discounted price and then I can't post the video without showing it that, without showing them the video first to make sure it's completely positive. I'm like, that's not how I work at all. My channel is always going to be straight up and honest with you guys. If I am doing a haul because a company sent me something, I'm going to tell you. I'm not getting paid to do this video. They are not requiring me to only say the positives. This is my honest opinion on all of this stuff and that's what I'm always going to do. And that's what I want you guys to expect from me and from my channel. So we are going to get, I am going to get right into this try on haul. When I'm shopping for a bikini, I always order a size medium in a top and a size small in a bottom. I will never buy a bikini if it's like a one size standard set because that's just not how my body was bought. <laughs> that's not how my body is. I have to have something that's a little bit bigger on top. So keep that in mind for sizing and the one piece was a size small. I always forget to say sizes, so I just wanted to get that out there. But the first bikini that I tried on was this neon pink one. And I was so excited about this one and I really wish it had worked out because the color, the style, just everything about it is so trendy. So the top was clearly way, way, way too small. I was hanging out up top on the bottom. My chest was pulling on it so bad that I was exposing the white liner and that's the white that you see in this little video clip. Even though that the piece across my chest was too small, the buckle was too big. So I thought it would be more appropriate if the buckle was tight across the bottom of my chest and instead it was loose and hanging down. If you have a smaller chest, this bathing suit's gonna work out for you. If you are a double or triple D, I don't even think a D would work, honestly. Would not recommend this top for someone with a larger chest. I did like that the bottoms were high rise, but I didn't love the cut of them. So when I wear a high rise bikini bathing suit bottom, I like it to cover my belly button. I don't know why, I just feel like it's awkward when it cuts off kind of in the middle or right underneath. But I love that it was really cheeky. I love that it was so high cut for the legs. I just wish it came up a little bit more, but it doesn't even matter because the top does not fit me. This next bathing suit was a white one piece and I love, love, love this. You'll see this style, ASOS, Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, House of CB. Everyone has this kind of Italian vacation style swimwear that they're coming out with this year, but um, I did love it. It fit great. It's a ribbed swim material, if that makes any sense. Typically, I don't like ribbed materials, but I enjoyed this on the bathing suit. I think it just pulled it all together. The neckline was really flirty, but there was still a lot of coverage. It was Definitely more modest and conservative. I would say it's just a vacation piece. It's something that you can wear and you're going to be comfortable but look good no matter if you're at the pool, on a bow, at the beach. So the next bikini is this white one and it was absolutely perfect. I want to say it was my favorite bathing suit out of this entire haul. So again, the top is a medium, the bottoms are a small. The top had great support, great coverage. It was 
that perfect material for a bathing suit, not too thin, not too thick, not too stretchy. I just love how simple of a cut this bathing suit is and it works. The bottoms covered my belly button, which is everything I love and more, but they're high cut. So they're my favorite style of swim bottoms. I feel like they just do so much for your body. They take in your hips, they elongate your legs. It's just perfect. Um, it was a cheeky bottom as well, which I like. I, I don't really love to be covered up completely, but it's just a classic bikini. It's a staple for summer. It's white, the neckline. Everything about it will look good on any body type. So this peach bikini, I don't know, I want peach to work so badly on me and I feel like it just doesn't. I'm also really, really, really white right now, like no self tanner on me. So maybe when I'm a little bit tanner, like later summer, this bathing suit will work, but it didn't have any padding in the top, which was fine. I didn't have an issue with that. I'm just letting you guys know there was no padding. It did have really, really good support. I was not worried about the girls falling out at all. Um, the bottom, I didn't love. So if the bottom was the same as the white bikini, I definitely would have said this was one of my favorites too, but I, I can't get past the bottom not covering my belly button. And I know that sounds so dumb, but it's personal preference. But the more I looked at me in the bathing suit, it was just washing me out, kind of like this sweatshirt is doing right now. It's just too light. It's like a flesh tone for me and it doesn't do anything for me. 